Let's look at how to use Adobe InDesign's Data Merge to create a series of business cards. My document setup is for a standard business card, three and a half by two inches, and the standard bleed of one eighth of an inch. Working in my master pages, I've set up a business card template with separate text boxes for each line of text. Next we need to apply the master to our first page. Double click on the page to make sure you're out of the master. So whenever you try to select the text boxes now, you cannot until you do Command Shift or Control Shift on a PC. Now you're going to double click inside the text box and remove the text. Now you'll do this for each text box that you'll be replacing with your dynamic information from your Excel sheet. One thing you'll notice in the master is I select all of my text boxes. You want to make sure the text boxes are long enough to accommodate any long names so they don't overflow. So that's why my email address is a little bit longer than the phone numbers. Let's look at our Excel document. I have a list of employees, so I have a column for each type of data, so all the names, all the titles, office, mobile, and emails. And I have saved this as employees to my desktop. You'll want to save this as a CSV, comma separated values. So go to File, Save As, CSV. Close out of the document, go to Window, Utilities, Data Merge, and this gives you some instructions on connecting your data. Go to the Flyout menu, select Data Source, go to Employees, our CSV, and you'll see it's populated the columns from the spreadsheet. Making sure you're back on the page. Select your box and click on the value you want to add. You can do a preview to see the first example or you can use this pagination of the arrows to filter through. Now go to the flyout again, create merge document. In this case we're going to use all of the records with only one business card per page. So if you want to do multiple cards on an 8.5 by 11 or another dimension, you can work with these by selecting multiple records and then you'll have additional settings for the spacing. Let's go with this, just the native settings. And it's letting us know that all the text fit within our boxes. and now all of our pages have been created. If you do need to edit the, the styling of anything, just be, go back to your master page and you can revise that however you need to if 
the title needs to come down. If we go back, you can see it's adjusted within each page.